The best way you can support me is with a simple subscribe. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. All right, Mr. Teleferro TV, Kevin Hart and Dwayne The Rock Johnson are overseas doing press for their movie Jumanji that comes out later this month. I believe they're gonna come back to America and do press at some point soon. You gotta know The Rock is gonna be asked a lot about Tyrese and that ain't even his fault. You gotta, you gotta know Kev Hart's gonna be asked a lot about the alleged cheating. He's just had a newborn baby. The alleged cheating on his wife and Nico Hart while she was pregnant. Anyways, it's, it's nice to see some humor from these two. So let's look at this picture real quick. They met up with this woman, right? It was maybe a meet and greet. I'm not sure if she's a personality of some sorts. I don't know what her role is. But she got this little shirt that I, I thought it was cool originally. Then I looked at it again. I was like, yo, this shirt mad corny. It says, you are my rock, my Dwayne, my Johnson. I'm not gonna lie, it's a corny shirt. It's a corny shirt, it's a corny concept. Whoever made the shirt is trash, right? And I'm standing with Kev here. Kev and, and The Rock took this picture with this girl, and here's what a human, and I thought this shit was kind of funny. Kev said, this shirt pisses me off. After she interviewed us, I spilled cranberry juice on her shirt and acted like it was an accident, but it wasn't, hashtag evil. And then he, he said, always a good time with this bald-headed jackass the Rock looking like the stronger version of LeVar Ball. We got to put it on the screen real quick. Yo, does LeVar Ball and Dwayne The Rock Johnson look alike? Yo, I got to look at this again. I don't know, y'all. When they smile, uh, when they both do that little smile, like, yeah, let's make it clear. The Rock just looks more genuine, right? Uh, LeVar, uh, he just looks, everything look fake about that nigga right now. That nigga took his kids and made them go overseas. I ain't fucking with, I ain't fucking with LeVar Ball right now. And then The Rock responded with this. He said, can't believe you did spill cranberry juice on her. I was really happy she kicked you and your one good ball. I'm sleep, Man, I like old nigga humor. The shit was funny to me. I decided to post it with you guys. But I think that brings up a bigger issue. So I want to know, have we forgiven Kevin Hart? Are you guys going to support his movie Jumanji with The Rock? His, his uh, comedy tour starts at the top of 2018. I mean, literally, as soon as it hit the New Year's, he's going on road, and he's, you know he's going to come to your city. Can y'all go see Kev Hart? Because it feels like we've kind of accepted Kev Hart back in, or he's moving like he's been accepted back in. A lot of people never had a riff with him. I just felt like it was off-brand for a lot of the things that he pre you know preaches and, and kind of alludes to that his family first, Nico's my rib. The cheating kind of hurt his brand a little bit, right? Now he's doing a comedy tour. So we got Kev Hart doing a comedy tour after he cheated. And we got Jay-Z who did a whole 444 tour on him, him cheating. Ah, uh, uh. Uh, talk to me in the comment box. What y'all think about that? These men, they cheated and it seems like they're going to make millions and millions of dollars literally doing tours off them cheating. Talk to me in the comment box below. And, and let's make it clear. Kev Hart and Jay-Z can tour when they want to but tours are about concepts and content this was the concept and the content for both of these men to go out and it feels as if though we've kind of let both of them in i know there's some beyonce fans out there that i've never fuck with over again because you cheated on beyonce and i don't blame them. but yo these were the big stories and um it's definitely controlled the headlines for a lot of 2017 these two and it looks like people have let them back in have you let them back in all right i had a long talk Kev Hart, he wanted y'all know he's one of my guys that I look up to, and that shit fucked me up for a minute. But I think I'm getting over it, and uh, I think I might go see the Jumanji movie. Talk to me in the comment box below. Let me know. Subscribe to my channel for more exclusive content like this. 100K game. We are on the way. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie. You know for for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah.